there. Sorry, uh, hunt over ran a smidge, and I have also have some terrible hay fever, so I'm going to be very sniffly and sneezy, so you'll probably hear me mute quite a bit. Ooh! The flowers are out to get me. The flowers hurt me. Uh, my Warhammer took multiple attempts to install the patch. Multiple attempts. But it got there in the end. Mine only needed two. Uh, I was on three. Three for the uh, patching. They clearly have a great patching system, don't they? Alright. Uh, I'm assuming this will work best with a controller. Let's try that again. Oh, Jesus. I've been sneezing so much, my bones are rattling. I don't know, you, ever, you know when you sneeze just so, like, tons and tons and it just aches? Oh, ha, ha. Uh, bloody hay fever. Hey Mox, hey Gohan. Hey Crab, hey Arth. Hey Shadow Peep, hey Fiki. Hey Rogue, hey J Star. Hey Deeks. Yeah, we got like a load of flowery stuff going on right now. Okay, all the options we got. I haven't tried this yet. This looks really good, so I asked for a key from the uh, publisher, and they were like, yeah, alright. And I was like, <laughs> nice! Lude. Look forward to giving this a go. So, we're gonna try this for uh, probably 45 minutes to an hour, see what it's like. If it's good, we might do some more at some point. Uh, and then uh, we'll do some Chaos Dwarf. Right, BRB, two seconds. Thank you very much for the 63! That is pretty good. We're getting really close to the Fable 69, and then we can be like, ail them out all month. That'd be great. Alrighty, so we have a quick look at the sum. I thought this looked really interesting. So, it's described as a mixture between Bloodborne and, uh... A mixture between Bloodborne and Zelda. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like. That's your knees! <laughs> Stop being old crap. Oh, nice one, J-Star! Do you have a picture of what you're going to get? Day and night alterna alter alternate in an endless cycle where a myriad of tides of time pass through each one. The cycle of day is ruled by humanity and night by horrid creatures. Despite the efforts, the arrival of the night always heralds death for humanity. Sorry, like I missed the rest of it. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love the pixel art. Now, one order of vigilant crows have been summoned. From every corner of Medrum, they flock to reconquer what was the once great fortress of Ravenford. You're sharing the Discord. Link, can you, when you've shared it, um, can you link, put me a link here? I'd love to see it. Your sister sleeps on the other end of our apartment, and she knows when I'm awake by the creaking of your knees. Fuck's sake, crab! Stop being so goddamn old, man. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Lude. I guess we're Vesper. You're 29. Jesus. Oh my. Deathtron, fitting me for your 53. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Deathtron. It's very kind of you. Thank you very much, dude. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Oh, sounds good, Axe. You have to add me to the old Frondo list. Ooh, hello. 
See what I mean about Zelda plus- Oh, I love the movement! Okay, the movement is fucking disgustingly smooth. It is disgustingly smooth. Vespa can use her dark powers to dash, therefore avoiding falls and other hazards. Press A to use your dash. Keep in mind it consumes dark energy, the purple bar. Purple bar? Yeah, alright. Spooky. Oh, nice one, Jason. Let's have a look quickly. Love the art style of this so far. We're gonna get some look, see. Did you know you can use Discord? Oh, what the fuck? That looks sick. Oh, JSON that looks really cool. Damn. <gasps> that is nice. Same, same, is that your arm, or is that like a sort of uh, example arm? Uh, or those stencils on your arm? Because that is a really nice size. I shouldn't be going for the same size as that. That's really nice. If I do Zelda from the camera angle, yeah, it's got that Zelda feel, hasn't it? Um, it's got that Zelda feel, at least I think so. Go on, did you go? I got a suit. Vesper's suit. Vesper and her childhood nickname Pale Cat thanks to her agility and fast reflexes. In exchange for superior protection, this suit allows her to move more freely. Alright, I guess we should. Oh, oh I see, we gotta get across the go. Reminds me of like Link's Awakening, in there. not Link's Awakening, um. The sword. Yeah. Sorry, Vespa. That was, that was my bad. Yeah, Link's Awakening. That's the um, that's X to attack. The sword's very wobbly. Nice. Oh, did you, Vicky? Was it t too difficult? Or were they alright with the support, right? Press uh, up to use the Crimson Rose to heal your wounds. I didn't get to see the animation. That's the example arm. You get this Sunday. Have you had any tattoos before? <laughs> In terms of crow statues, fully recover your health, bullets, and save your progress. Losing all your blood drops make you respawn here. Oh, I should probably say, I did say already, but for those who just popped in, the publisher was kind enough to give me a key for this, uh, just for full disclosure. Tattoo number six. Very fine, very fine. I need to book some new ones. I've technically got three. I need to get some more. Use R to enter main and R to bleh. Use right stick to enter aim mode and R to shoot. Alright. You can reload your bullets using melee weapons. Every three hits will recharge one bullet. Yeah. Oh, look how disgustingly smooth the animation is here. That's actually really good on Figgy to do it that way. It looked like a vest? It, I guess I, I guess that it's in, implying it's the entire getup, the leggings, the like the top. Is that a cravat? It feels like a cravat. Style him some speed. Oh boy. I think we can can we can we nothing personnel dash, I wonder. How'd you get into this ninja cat in the end? I love the art style so far. This is really neat. This is like a dreamlike world, I wonder, or something. Title roll? A 
Let's not be attacking the statue, she's just going ham for us. Ooh, day. Don't sit in the goo! Oh well, uh, GG. Snack! That was my fire. Oh, okay, interesting. I didn't even know this was coming out at all. I just, I was on Steam this morning, I think, and I saw, like, on to be released, and I was like, oh my god, this looks kind of neat. Is the implication we got deservinated by the, uh, the, the wolf that was on the thing? Again, it's, it's not, it's, it is Super Nintendo-esque in a way. I suppose it is Super Nintendo-esque, but I guess some of the, the way it looks reminds me of um, the Game Boy Color uh, Zelda's. Main menu is now available. Fucking nice. You can equip weapons, moonstones, dark powers, and suits. Use the feather tab to read the infused clove feathers you gather. Nameless Terror. Sounds like not little upgrades and stuff. Night Howl. There's something strange moving among the horrors of populated place. Somehow bigger, faster, and more disturbing intelligence. The common ghouls were no rivals to us, led by Dominic Hale from the second murder. Oh, because we're all crows, right? And we quickly purified the outer chambers. Our feet was on par with Alexandra's great purge of the bowels of the earth. Oh, what a victory. Yet none of us were prepared for the grotesquerie that lurks further within. Without warning, the knight awoke deep within the fortress and saw these sharp, bright red fangs in the darkness. It hunted us one by one, leaving only but this pitiful remnant of myself. And now, in my final moments, I ask myself the reason behind this mission. A curse of the Black Bone and the damage they've done to our world. Oh, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? That's right. Sometimes you gotta just, you know... First we can throw grenades using LT. They're limited. Okay. Interesting. Oh, we got fire grenades. So we got a door, which is locked, I guess. Alright, I guess in true Zelda-esque fashion, we should have a nosy round. We got a map? I don't see a map. Ooh. Moonstone hat. What do we just pick up? Moonstone. Oh, there we go. Night Hell damage push up plus three. That's for the gun, right? Oh no, so that's like a little upgrade egg. What do you want to call it? Egg. Phantom Gribble is the worst kind. Hey, sweet Sefo. Getting harassed. Some sort of tentacle chap. Yeah. Eat shit, mate. This is very gribbly. In memoriam, Laura Defoe, brave stalker and bearer of the feather cloak during the sixth age of mankind. The bust is missing an eye. Well, there's one back here. Must be a very specific eye. I am wounded. I have been deprived of my feather, and I will die. Sh I will surely die soon. I've hidden one of our relic re reapers. F uh, repen? Relic repens for you? Repens? Repens? Go find it and purge these monsters one for all. The bust is the key. Go now and find the eye of the night. Exactly, you just get as many eyes as you want. Just, just gonna... oh, dear. Oh, 
Oh, do I have to get him first? Bodied. Hey, pumpkin. Do I lose all my swag? Is this, is this a lose all your swag kind of game? I don't know. Okay, so you kept the treasure chest. Right, so. So we don't necessarily. Oh no, I keep my crystals. Alright, I guess it's just a checkpoint. Interesting. Is it too loud? Do I need to uh, turn it down a smidge? Sorry. There we go, I'll put that a little bit. Everything indicates that Isaac Steelguard, possessor of the devastation resonant here, I can feel the dark power emanating from his corpse, and yet there's something else, a little miracle that caught my attention. Lilith flowers. My god, everything's so incredibly gothic, I kind of love it actually. Like everything's like Raven McDark goth, and this is fantastic. Spread through the forgotten courtyards of Ravenford, like reflections of the constellations under the starry sky, these flowers manage to transform darkness into brightness, a powerful defense mechanism against the creatures of the night. When hit, their petals spread out and shine even brighter. We can use that to our advantage. The representations in writings and banners do not do the justice to the cold and melancholic beauty of their dim light. What a beautiful place to die. Click on to the press. Ooh. Is this all slop? Oh. Guess that's slop. Gotta not stand in the slop. That's like the number one rule. Oh, that's a hole! Sorry. I was, I was my my perspect uh, perspective of that was a little bit off. It is a little bit Raven McDark Goth, but I kind of like it. Right. Spooky. Can we get across the spooky hole by dashing? No. I wonder if, I wonder if I need an item to come back here. Like, in a, like dash. Can I dash twice a minute? Or in mid. Uh, can I do it here, maybe? Oh, there we go. Alright, mate. Oh, what a colossal dickhead. Hey, Anna. I know, 10 moments of the nice month, the best one. We can all be like, ate them out. Thank you very much, dude. As always, very much appreciated. Try finger bottle. We plunge into darkness under the light of our torches, but those creatures do not know fire. They do not need it, they simply embrace change. Adapt or die, an impossible task given a flock to a torch like moths to a flame. Everyone wrote, everyone like writes in this game, like uh, they've like recently shagged a Shakespeare novel and I kind of love it. Or no, no, not Shakespeare. Ed, Edgar Allan Poe. They've been, they've been like, like they've been like making sweet, sweet love to the, the poetage, and, and then decide to write some stuff. And again, I'm all for it. Actually, this is quite fun. Oh dear. Sorry. Excuse me while I explode. 
This is very neat. It's like a mixture between Link's Awakening and Bloodborne. That's what it reminds me of. We must sacrifice what makes us weak, no matter the price. Ah, hello. We've unlocked something, I guess. Boo. Okay. Oop. Let's go around here. I love how smooth the animation is for moving. It's... Ooh. Ugh. Ah. Is that a shortcut? Like, right there? Interesting, like a hidden floor. Cool. Well, I'll go check the other way then. See what's over there. See? Shinies. Dark power is a special ability that have different effects. Equip one, the status, and press B. Okay. Phantom blades. Oh, neat. Okay. These dark infused, infused blades spin through the user at high speed, tearing through nearby enemies. The Supreme Master of this dark technique granted Lilith, uh, sorry, Lillian Morris her famous nickname, Lady of the Knife. It's probably not what they called, called her behind her back, though. Alright, Noble. Ah, let's save it quickly. I gotta be honest, this is absolutely my fucking jam. I love Zelda style games, uh, and I love the perspective. This this is kind of my shit right here. Eat shit, bird. So we can go through here, or we can go over there, I guess. Oh. Bah. <laughs> Okay, that's quite fun. Rip, rip that guy. This game is extremely, like, bleak. And I'm, I'm absolutely here for it. Lacerators? What are those? Is that another dark power? Promise. Fire shark crow is extremely high speeds. That is... This game is extremely goth. I'm shooting crow feathers at people. Fuck, yes. That's incredible. That is legitimately incredible. I'm liking this more and more by the minute. I think this is the edgy Zelda I've always wanted. And I don't I don't mean this in any sort of piss take. I I like I'm Shit. I'm like super enjoying every single thing about this. Moonstone. Health plus 20. Uh, honestly, I kind of feel like I'm taking a lot of damage, so extra health it will not get missed. Is that a chance? Also, the stone. The artwork's really pretty, like the environments and stuff. How are you, Noble? Made it back uh, and you're all readjusted time wise, alright? It costs too much to be outwardly goth. We can all be a bit goth inside. Bonk. Does American McGee's Alice count as goth? Cause she's she's like the she's like the grandma of goth at this point, like if she's like from the like nineteen uh, 1900s. Absolutely. Oh shit. By local assholes. Thank you, John. Yeah, I was, a bit, I was a bit worried about snuffology then, but I think we're okay. You can step over Noxal and Rifts to recharge your bullets and dark energy. Oh, cool. Weapon, I think. The hunting spear. 
Oh wait, what's 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 what amazing things on this? These long and sturdy spears were crafted in Ravensford during the Sixth Age, despite stalkers considering them outdated. Their ceremonial weapons are still used even now. I love all the animations on this. This is great. Look, she even get, like a little mouth. She's like, meow, meow. <laughs> Time adjusted, but the day I got back, I hit with an appalling cold. Ah, you got plain flu. Yeah, plain flu. Good old plain flu. The only other older goth girls I can think of is Alice uh, Wednesday and Morticia Adams. Yeah, I suppose there must be some more gothy, gothy tricks. We need we need all the goth girls in the in the audience to give us give us the lowdown on the OG goths. Oh boy. That was a little bit dubious. Hey! There's a switch here. I guess we need to find the switch up this way, I guess, to open the next. Oh. Hmm. Rude. You can dodge way more than you think you can. I'm still treating this like, uh, like almost blood pass kind of What I need to do is uh, realize that I can dodge for fucking tons. So that's that one done. I'm guessing it's gonna be left, right, middle. I was about to say that's what it feels like the sort of traditional puzzle for this kind of thing to be. Yeah. Look at this dead noob. Oh shit. Can you iframe through attacks? Yeah, you can. You can't if you are in attack animation though, you can just get bent, like I did. Eye of the Night? What is that? Not one of those, not one of those, not one of those. Ooh, it's a key item. Oh, the Eye of the Night, isn't that the thing we we're looking for, for the statue? Right? <laughs> Linkborn, yeah, it is very much like that, right? I want to call it uh, Legend of Goth. The Legend of Goth, a goth to the blast. Ew. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was a Gribbly chest, but it was... I think that man didn't have a head. Oh, it's a necromorph! Hey, we done it, dude. Prick just ran off, though, which is incredibly rude. Oh, there it is. I see ya. Ah, get binned on. Read, reading some crow feathers allow you to discover a solution for some puzzles. Press the start to read the feather. Right up. Use knowledge saved on the feather by a number of members of the stalkers to solve this puzzle. I am surrounded by marauders. This might be my last chance to infuse the crow feather. You must heed my words. The secret lies in interacting with the statues of Lillian and her children in a specific order. I found an old manuscript that might be of help. It reads, marked by tragedy, sorry, tragedy, the uh, royal family starts a new journey from which they will never return. Lillian goes last, right in the middle, surrounded by terrors. Edward goes first, crying in the far west. Okay, so far left. Clarence second, in the near east, second on the right. Third on the right, fourth on the left. I did it, yo. The crow feather, honor of my order, now rejects me. Nothing can fool our most sacred object, which easily spies the horror behind the mask. Let this writing be the last reminder of my legacy. It was not the time of kings, but of sacrifices. No one could imagine that he would return, bringing with him demands for blood and flesh. He appealed to the great oath, and his will was unstoppable. Ooh, a sexy shortcut. What we need now is a spooky guillotine, and we're all set, aren't we? Ah, little shit. Ah, little shit. 
get a little bit of extra range on the uh, on the spear, but it's a little bit slower. It's a second to count. All right, let's save it, and then we're gonna go back the other way and you and unlock that secret. Poet true. Is that what people call it? Is that what it is, crap? Here you go. Use the eye of the night. Inside is a secret. The purifier. I love everything about these weapons. Is that a snot gun? A technological marvel of the ninth age, capable of firing a devastating blast of lead that's positively deadly at close range. Due to the high production costs, this firearm is only accessible to the most virtuous of stalkers. How do I swap between the guns? Oh, I see. Rubber. Okay. How much can it bend this guy? Let's, let's test something out here. Oh my god. Eat shit. Dark door. We got a new weapon. Dark Dawn, damage 25. The famous greatsword that belonged to the House of Bradbury. Slow and powerful heavy weapons are uncommon amongst stalkers, but have proven vital against extremely resilient night creatures. When you positively want to twat somebody. No. I want to twat somebody, let's go. Nice little introduction area, it's giving you like a bit of a lowdown on all the, all the goodies. This looks like a boss arena. Alright, mate. Unlucky. The Devourer. You have to sort of decide what you want going out. Ah. Not bad first attempt. The weapons are smidge too slow. I think I'll use the, s the regular sword, I think, doing that. So let's use the regular sword, I think. The Devourer. Timing right for the dodge. Ooh, that was close. That's a real 
were fucking neato. This is good. This is good. If the quality of this stays consistent like that, this is really impressive. Just behind the uh... We go up here, or is this... We are banned from this particular entrance right now. So where's the... I wonder if there's an inevitable merchant slash something we can do with these crystals we're getting. Because I feel it's more Zelda-esque than it is like a uh, uh, like standard RPG. Big spooky <laughs> hole. Lewd. Also, there's a tentacle down there. It's like a massive writhing nightmares. Can we go down? Hello, friendly ra massive writhing nightmares. How'd you do? Hey Vespius, how you doing? Thank you very much for the 18. This is promising. Tentaclays, he's a good man. A longer dash would be required, unless we can go across the other side, maybe? No. Okay. Can we go backwards? What's down here? Little elevator? I think I assume there's an elevator. It goes down even further, Jesus. Who would this? Malkian, founder of the Stalkers. Guess we can come back to pray to him or something. Get out of here, Stalker. So we can't go that way. It's got squishy noises. Can we go this way? Is this another... Uh -huh. These statues are definitely looking a little bit grimble. They've had a bad time. Oh, hello. We'll need some proper resources if we want to get it out of here. So let's make a deal. Bring me the Nox Eleven for the creatures. In return, we'll give you stuff. A hunting crossbow. Sure. That's all I had. Sorry. I hope that's enough. So he's like, uh. So oh, it's like, well, I guess all the survivors are here. What do you want? I'm Jessica, the last remaining descendant of the House of Bradbury. Unlike the other weaklings, I'm not gonna sit idly while we die. One of those strange beings tore through my sister as if she was made out of paper. I shall now only mourn her loss once we have quit this place. For now, I must remain strong. Those paintings are the key to our freedom. And what are we waiting for? Let's not waste any more time here. Enough of these games. If I must die, I intend to expire just like my sister, fighting till my very last breath. For Malkian's sake, oh, for the here, are you from the reinforcement murder? Oh, never mind that. We're in great need of your help either way. Listen carefully to my words, Stalker. What you see before you are the remains of the fifth murder. A powerful creature forced us to enter this place, and we've been trying to escape ever since. We sent scouts to find a way out, but only Matthew Doyle has returned. He brought with him an old music box that has been locked by its comp that has been locked by complex mechanisms. Matthew mentioned four strange paintings that decorate this part of the fortress. I sent him to investigate that quite a long time ago. I beg you to find the paintings. And Matthew, of course. <laughs> Hello, Bordra. Oh, looks quite happy. I thought so as well. Alright, son. How was your offer? And your horses and your rat, right, boy. Or your rat, right, girl. Hey, Tech Dragon. How you doing? I would get myself with a grievous wound today to track the beast, those horrid children. Time is of the essence. The box has four openings which the statues to be placed. Please help us unlock it in this game. The key to open the box must lie in the order of the statues and the paintings. The statues have a description of the events on the base. What's the correct order? Something's missing. Okay. It's like a church here. Interesting. Patrick Higgins. We were sent here to die for nothing. That thing destroyed the murder in seconds. I was the first to go down here. Damn Ingress didn't even thank me for opening the way. Don't get me wrong, we stalkers have always been cannon fodder, but in this place we're nothing but food and a platter. No reinforcements, no hope. Sooner or later one of those things is gonna drag us into the dark. At least I found a bottle of wine to help me enjoy my last moment. Care for a sip? What? Can't go your tongue? Perhaps the rumors are true. That old wound prevents you from speaking, eh? What a shame. 
Oh, we, we... I wonder if she's got something around her neck. I wonder if she's got that neck achieve. I wonder if she's got, uh, something that stops her talking. How was, uh, how was, uh, Rufus Red Dead? Was it alright? Oh, there's dead guys. There's a lot of dead guys here. And a sofa. so far, that, from what you're saying, folks. I think this is really neat. Dude, that's got more eyeballs on the floor. It looks rad. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I'm glad we all agree. That map, I might get some of That looks like dangerous. Better heal. What the? Man, those things are lethal. guys make everyone else odd as fuck. Stop jumping down random holes, lady! You're as bad as James from Silent Hill. Oh, I found a boss. That's not good, I guess. Oh, uh, ripping pepperoni. That might have been a cutscene death, though. Might, might get lucky. Here we stand once more because of you and your weakness. You forced me to again to intervene. You came here because you were in danger. Oh, we can talk. But of course, I didn't merely come here to save you. I came here to preserve myself. Tell me, Stalker, what would you have become without? What would have become of you without me? I'd have died a long time ago, but I do not fear my fate. I don't know what I find more pitiful: your confidence in your utter weakness, or the fact you didn't seem to care. It runs in the family. That it does. It's not the first time you suffered for being born a blackbone. It won't be the last. The brave, virtuous Vesper, stained with her father's sin. I wonder what other stalkers would think if they knew I existed. They surely couldn't hate you any more than they already do. Shut up for a moment. I need to think. The man slash should have got flipped up and then saw- Well, he got attacked by her, I think. I only say what you think, since you aren't strong enough to admit it yourself. You hide your scars, but everyone can see your prognosis. I gave you a pow- I gave you power, whether you want it or not. I am your voice. Just another dark echo. I am darkness itself. Sooner or later the night will arrive and cover the earth. The deep night is coming and not even you can escape from its grass, Vesper. The stalkers will prevail. We shall defeat the night. You put great faith in your order, stalker. Do not forget. None of your esteemed stalkers can speak with the night like you do. I know I'm different and I don't care. But you should. Look around you. No one would ever come to this place, much less voluntary. voluntarily. If they find out what you are, they'll kill you. Ooh, intrigue. So who's she then? So we've got some sort of super, super gribbly dark power. Best when summon Umber at will. Keep in mind this process consumes dark energy from the dark energy bar. Umber can cross dark purple miasma areas and swap locations with Vesper. Oh nice, that's how we do it. 
Summon Umbra, press Y. When Umbra is inside, prop press X to teleport. Oh, nice. Oh, whoops. I think I bad it. The painting depicts a human devouring beast surrounded by blood and guts. Well, that's nice. Do you like me a bit of human devouring beasties? I guess we're back up here now? Yeah. So we go back to the church and save. This, I guess it's like a central hub. There wasn't a thingy here though, was there? It was in the other room. Here it is. I'm probably gonna stop this here for now for this. This is fucking great. Like, legitimately really good. I, I am having a whale of a time with this, actually. I didn't know what to expect. But this is very cool. It's extremely smooth. It's really pretty. Like, the artwork they've done for it is great. Very nice. So I guess there's the three weapons we've got. Okay. This is very, very cool. Yeah, good stuff. I actually want to play more of this. But I'm going to jump into some Warhammer. Because I did say we are going to do that. But that's really good. Castlevania meets Legacy of Cain. More like uh, Zelda meets uh, Bloodborne, I think is probably the word I'd use. That's very, very neat. Very cute. Good stuff. Alright. Right. Let me change the uh, title around a second to... Well, to, to put Total Warhammer on here. There we go. We can see what these Chaos Dwarfs are like. Oh god, I just realized I've played this in a while. Is it, it going to be extremely loud? Let me mute the uh, stream just in case. Yes, it, is, it was going to be. I've turned it down. There we are. Chaos does not exist. Dwarfs cannot fall to chaos. Your name is entered in the book for even suggesting this nonsense. Oh shit. I don't want to be in the book of grudges. What do they do? Stupid dwarfs. Alright, I guess we'll do um, Immortal Empires because I usually prefer that. I like I like all the faction stuff, but I don't I don't I'm not massively fan on the campaign itself, like so I, I like uh I didn't remember all these weird ass logos before. They added some logos to this. Have they added anything new here? I don't think so. Alright. Uh, let's see. Camp Hagen. New. Immortal Empires. Sigma's will. By Sigma? No! Where are they? Chaos... Chaos Wars. This is Astragoth Iron Hand. He looks like he's got pink eye. Immoral Empire does sound like my alley, that's true. Alright. And we've got... Drazhoth the Ashen. That's kind of neat. And he's the last guy. That's on the black. Alright, so what's each person's shtick, I guess? So where do they start? He starts over there, they start here, and he starts there. Faction effects, conclave influence gain, I'm not sure what that is. Research rate plus 10% in control. Passability, mechanical overdrive. Okay, so they get burlier the more stuff they kill. Ward save on bull centaur renders units. Okay. And he starts with goblins? And orcs? What the fuck? That's not very dwarven of them. Gold 
Hawk laborers, Chaos Dwarf blunderbusses, the Infernal Guard, hybrid missiles, Goblin laborers, and could I fireborns? Armament cost minus ten percent for units. Armament out plus ten percent. Okay. Campaign move range plus ten. Upkeep minus twenty for Kadai. And dark renown melee attacks. Interesting. And the last guy. More convoys. Okay. Recruitment cost minus fifty for artillery and war machines. Casualties captures post battle plus fifteen percent. Local recruitment capture of one and sadistic snare. Chaos Wolf blunderbusses. Rocketeers. Missile cavalry. Alright, so who are we going to start with, I guess? Who are we, who are we feeling? <laughs> Prisoners with jobs. Yeah, this is important. <laughs> you started with Drazoth. Okay. So this guy's got ranged blokies. This guy's got um, a couple of ranged, but he's also got a monstrous inventory. A demon thing. And this guy's like got um, a bit of mixture. Do they have grudge books? I have no idea. So this guy's like a robo man. This guy is just like. Is he a, is he a caster? So. And this guy's got sword and shield. <laughs> Any preference? Astroth, uh, Astrogoth and Drazhoth are both casters. Interesting. So, do we want to be? Do we want to have a caster as our leader this time, or do we want to have? Uh, we want to have a big burly man to burl people up. Still, better looking doors than the wild wow ones. Yeah, the wild wow ones are uh, just small, small humans really. They, have, they do have great beards. I kind of feel like the skulls around the teeth would be annoying, but... Who's got the silliest hat? This is a very silly hat. This is a reasonably silly hat. And this guy's got a chimney for a hat. So, I mean, chimney's pretty silly. Do we want... Do we want chimney for a hat, man? Where do we start? Over there. Interesting, they got like there's quite a few units here. Quite a few lords too. You wrote Chimney Man? Alright, it'll be Chimney Man then. Well that dwarf there doesn't have a mustache. Is that even legal? That allowed. So I, we're in the sort of mountain range near the vampires, right? At least I think so. I'm always amazed, right? This is this is the load times on my uh, NVMe drive. Could you imagine what this would be like on an actual hard drive? Probably be able to have a fucking sleep, make a cup of tea, and have a crafty wank by the time you get this fucking loaded. Ugh. All right. Oh no, he's speaking Welsh. That's upsetting. No Cthulhu speak aloud. Alright. Who's this? No, I agree completely. A bull centaur. The largest and least ple pleasant of the bull centaurs are the tar the tar Toruk lords who combine their keen intellect of their full Dowie cousins. Oh, me. With all the heft that four powerful legs brings. Interesting. He reminds me of Kolek Sunny too, a little bit. A bit smaller though. So where are we? Okay, we're... Where is this? Howling Rock. I actually don't quite know where we are. Midland, a bit... Sniper Blast. This is Sylvanus. This is the vampire area. 
So this is regular dwarves and goblins. Okay, so we're here. All right, I know where we are. Okay. All right. Well, we got a guy called Dusty to fuck up. So what we actually got here? A wizard spellcaster man. I'm surprised he's a wizard when he's got his his like his thing is to give like more damage when he's in combat. I don't quite know how that's gonna work. Uh, Chaos Dwarf War is great weapons. That seems like an incredibly nice uh nice thing to have. Goblin labelers. Close dwarf Chaos Dwarf um blunderbusters for close combat. And bull renderers, monstrous beasts. Oh, I see. We can only have so many of these, I guess. Great Tauros. Flying monsters. And this is our house. Chaos Dwarf economy is managed by is managed across several different resources. Treasury, labor, raw materials, and armaments. Okay. Building more mines increases your potential raw materials, but also increases your workload requirements of that province. Raw materials are generated each turn from the outpost mine buildings. If you have less labor than workload in the province, your raw material output will scale down accordingly. Labor is received after battles. Oh, from prisoners with jobs, right. A portion of labor is lost each turn based on your control levels. When received, labor is split evenly between all your provinces, except in new intake. You can set a province to accept new intake that way. Your labor actions instantly boost your treasury. Okay. Buildings under construction will display the rush construction button. Rush construction allows you to instantly complete uh, construction at the cost of labor. Okay. Sure. Fight battles to get friends. Spend armaments in the Hellforge to get swag. Use Conclave influence to claim powerful seats at the Tower of Tsar. And dispatch military combos to locations across the world to navigate risk and navigate risk on route. Okay. Sure. Why not? So we got a drill. A giant conveyor. Interesting. We got lava fields for some sort of beasties. And what else we got? We got a growth building. Prototype mega mortar. Income control. Is there no growth building? Okay. More control seems useful. Patrol routes. I don't think what we want really. That's just a garrison. Two thousand five hundred or two hundred fifty. Oh, it doesn't cost anything. Just okay. Well, let's do that. All right, let's uh, see what they like in battle. Let's go fuck up this man. They don't have a growth stat. It's to build the biggest drill that ever went burr and find the home of Hashrut deep underground. Oh, nice. So they're gonna they're gonna suck him off. Sounds reasonable. Chaos Wolf Blunderbusses. That's kind of interesting. I want to have a look at what these guys look like as well. Alright, let's have a nosy at everyone. Right. Some sort of gobos. Yeah, a few gobos. They seem pretty happy to do what they're doing. A few. Hawks. They've got big, big clubs. Very fine. Chaos Dwarf Warriors. Okay. Big smelly man. I like it. This is our leader dwarf. We can uh, burn people. Or we can burn people. I like it. Reasonable. He's a melee expert actually. So he's a wizard that likes to fuck people up. Nice. 
This chap is just large. I like him. These are the blunderbuss guys. Alright. We're all talking nonsense. Right. Operation Meat Shield can go at the front then. Operation Expendable Men. Alright. And we can put put the blunderbusses like behind these guys, I guess. Over here. That sounds reasonable. Right, Operation Meat Shield. I want you fine gents to go in first. Astrogoff kind of works like cavalry. You can roll in with cavalry and some flank baddies. Interesting. He's not super slow, I guess, with his little leggies. Alright, let's try that then. Let's go around and cause some havoc, shall we? They're not really doing anything yet. That sounds like a them problem. Great. We can probably set this up to give him a give him a good old crafty bang bang. What are those? Just go. Actually, can we do this? It's a better idea. So these guys are going to get smoted. That's kind of on them though, isn't it? Can I shoot through my units like a real pro? Well, honestly, they don't look like the kind of guys who gives a shit if they shoot through the units. I respect that. Actually, uh, he can probably handle this. My warrior's free. Oh, come on, man. What are they fleeing about? Scrub lords. Get around there. Oh, can't lose. Okay, you guys can go like here ish. So he's a pretty big lad. I don't know if he can deal with all these big lads himself. I don't know how, don't know how he handles. What's this do? Magic missile. Let's try it, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of great. Well, he's going to take 10,000 years to get there, aren't they? You shooting for my other dudes? I respect that. Let's go kill these guys. Uh, you can guys can go over there. He's doing alright, I guess. Alright, give him a give him a good old shooty bang bang mate. Those uh blunderbusters are actually quite nasty. Very fine, very fine. So how are our labor units doing? You guys alright? Having a good time? Good stuff. Uh go murder these fools. What are you doing over there? Get here. I, I like chaos, like chaos walls are not just pointlessly evil. Are they, they actually got a, they got a purpose, then, I guess. Yeah. I take it they're still dwarfs of kind of like. 
Oh, that's what I think. Come on, guys, go over there. Is that my big lad? Where's my other big lad? He's over there. This guy's a bit of a battle laugh, isn't he? I wanted to wreck these guys with the missile thing again, that's quite fun. I love he sort of watches his handiwork for a bit. I'm kind of surprised the, uh, these guys haven't actually just given up yet. Right, big man, you can go over there. They're also as evil as possible for no particular reason. I can respect that. That guy's getting a bit of an ass kicking, but he's done alright. Did these guys actually bother shooting when I got the chance? No. There we go. So he doesn't—he doesn't do too bad in melee. And that was against some um, great axe infantry as well, which is actually pretty nice. A Pathfinder campaign—that sounds alright. I enjoyed what I played in the Pathfinder game actually. Go on, big lad, give it a smash. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Good man. Yeah, nice. Does he end up becoming an adventurer, or is that like you're just going to be sticking to the fencing and scaffolding? I can respect that. Hey, nice. Cena did a bit of art for me earlier today. I need to, uh, I need to retweet that. You all going to see? I'm sure you can recognize her. So do we get prisoners? Oh, we do get prisoners. Very nice. I will happily take some extra prisoners. Thank you. They'll be pleased. It's always nice to have a German out. Right, we want root marcher, I guess. So burning wrath uh, upgrades it, minus thirty percent cooldown, survivalist, hit points. So what's it, what's some of his crazy shit he gets then? Did he get some really dumb stuff? Hellhammer. Architect of Evil. Killing Fire. Oh, that's fun. Oh, because his entire shtick is basically being in the fray, so everything he casts does lots of extra stuff. That's kind of fun. We'll take Root Marcher first. Let's go back a smidge so I can start healing up. Go into... Well, oh, technically I could. I could actually do this this turn. There we go. Get even more units back. Alright. Research. So what do they got? Stronghold Syndrome. Upkeep minus for Gobbos. Call to war. Leadership for Chaos Dwarfs themselves. I guess minus upkeep. I guess we want to get both of them at the moment. So let's do that. This man's talking Welsh again. The Hellforge offers the use of forgecraft to improve your armies. Here, weapons and armor are forged and modified to increase unit capacities. Okay. The armor is where you can increase unit capacity. Here, you can forge additional standard weapons at armaments. Unit capacity share between all units in a group. Okay. Which reminds me a little bit of the Tomb Kings. Increasing unit capacity requires forging additional weapons and armor. Each time weapon and armor are forged, the associated bar fills up. Okay. 
Manufacturing comes accessible once you unlock the Forgecraft option, the Armory tab. Okay. I don't have much at the moment, so we need to get... We need to basically get the factories going then. Okay. Interesting. With Jobs Bravery? That's probably a good idea, actually. He works as a fence. And he does fencing. And he has a rapier as well. Very nice. She always makes her sketches look really... Yeah, yeah. Seen as great, isn't she? Does a very good job. And I thought a vampire would be quite appropriate. Alright, we'll pass this turn for now. See how we, we fare. Good first turn. We need to brutally murder the Great Skull Eggs. Well, we need to, might, might need to get a few extra peeps of jobs. Yeah, some of the older um, races probably need a little bit, like, uh, extra, sort of extra governance, don't they? Hey, not sure. How was the new game? It was really good. It was really good, the other game was. Very, very cool. I'm looking forward to playing more of that, actually. Oh, I agree completely, mate. Uh, training is actually probably quite good. Getting training early with additional experience for everyone could be quite nice. Alright, do we get some extra friendos? I think we probably should get some extra friendos. I can get a great Taurus, which looks fun. It'll take two turns. Oh no, local. Here we go. One turn. I think we get one. Oh, I see. Ah, right. Okay. I see. And then... I'll spend that extra turn just doing this, and then we'll go slap if that go. A new Siege campaign. Oh, nice. I haven't played um, Kairos at all, actually, yet. Uh, while this goes to the next turn, I shall BRB two seconds. Is there any panicking? Are we all good? Alright, so upkeep and melee attack for our labourers. Very nice. So Mandatory service, I like the sound of that. Starved wolves. Oh that's for our hobgoblin wolf raiders. Do we want to get everything initial maybe? So we can get leadership and melee defense? I think that'd be a good idea to get both. Right, how do we get Oh no, there's a man already got back. I guess that's what I get for dicking around too long. I guess we could try and go for him. I don't know how... Let's try it. I think these are all, all shitters though. 
Do you reckon they're all shitters? I think they're all shitters. Uh, right on the right on the sort of battlefield again. All right, we got some new units, which is nice. Yeah, so I guess we could pair up the meat shield guys with a with a unit behind them. So we could have like one of these guys with one of these guys like flanking them. We don't have any... I guess we could have the range guys at the front as well to shoot. That should possibly make more sense. And the gobos can go this way and that way to sort of manage that. Our guys can do that. And we got our big, our big boys who were pretty impressive actually last time. What about you? What do you do? What's your stick? Armor piercing melee causes terror? Are you just a flying cow? It's just a flying cow. Fucking nice. I kind of like that, actually. Good for you, giant flying cow. Alright, let's just go forward. Let's go forward for now and see how we fare. Do you like me some flying cows? Boo! Oh shit, it's not actually a cow, is it? Fuck. Uh, it's a... It's a... Uh... Possum. It's a flying possum. Don't know why I made such an obvious um, mistake. Silly me. Definitely a possum. I would never call an animal a different name. That'd be ridiculous. I think we want to get our lads in to deal with the ranged, while the, the initial crush can deal with them. Um. So I want everything except these two probably initially to basically splat against them. But I want... I want our guys just to shoot their way through. I don't know how well that will go, but we can give it a go. Our guys can come around the back here. Our flying possum can come around the back as well. Keep moving. Possum's always fly true actually. That's what I was thinking. This might be an interesting one because um uh, Oh hello. I'm just going to actually have the flying possum come around the back and see if it angers the locals at all. Oh, they still have pathing issues in this game. It's kind of incredible. Go up there, you dicks. Actually, we can probably do better than that. We can probably just shoot these guys here, and then... Let's get stuck in, I guess. Alright, let's get the possum over here, then. Will they shoot through that? I don't know. Oh, that is lethal. That is, they are lethal. Holy shit. Just absolutely tore them to shreds. God damn. That is foul. So these guys are probably fine. Alright. Right. So what we need to do then is initially buff yourself. 
then cast the fireball on these guys. How's our uh, possum doing? You got that, mate? Oh, look, I love how the possums like roll around and stuff. It's cute. Good for you. Getting all the sauce out, that's what we like to see. Okay, these guys are ha having absolutely zero shits about these these guys, which is fun. They could shoot them from behind, actually. And this guy's coming up here. Where's that other big big lad? He's there. This is disgusting. Look, just look at the damage these guys. The damage these guys just gets absolutely just rinses. <laughs> Jesus, it's like a fucking missile. All right, how's the possum doing? We need to name all these characters actually. We need to. Get... Oh, who's someone's taking some damage somewhere? Ah, uh, is it because they're getting shot? It's probably because they're getting, they're getting caught in the crossfire. Okay, it's fine. You can go up here now then. Yeah, mate. Do what I said, please. Go bored? Can't get in there. Get stuck in. Holy shit, the flying possum is fucking evil. Look at this thing. Boom. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, seriously. Alright, well, possum sword. Let's go uh, clean up shop, I suppose. Oh, hello. No, no. Got some people who uh, want to get back in here. I respect that. The possum saw her. sounds like a fun job. I know, right? Um, I mean, these guys could do some shooting, but I don't think there's anything left to shoot, really. I guess you could shoot those guys. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Here he comes! Meep meep! I love this guy, really. The animations on this thing are amazing. Look at that! Whoosh! Yeah! Yeah! Do you think this is not a uh, a natural creature? Seems normal. That's what I thought. All right. Come on, team. You should have the right kind of brain for this game. Don't worry, I'm incredibly stupid, and I can play this. If I can play this, anyone can. I promise you. I am like the world's worst RTS player. Like seriously, I, I you could probably like find a thousand random people who would uh, be better at this than me. And I've managed to learn it. So I, there is there's always hope. There is always hope, I promise. As so we got so we got car batteries. Anyone else? If I scroll further up. And one bet. Alright, so you first car batteries, who are you gonna be? And then after you one bit. And pumpkin. You wanna be the cow? What's the cow gonna be called? You mean the possum, right? That's what you mean, I assume. Oc Ooh. When Chaos Dwarves capture minor settlements, they gain the option to rebuild the settlement as an outpost or factory. The prime person outposts generate raw materials from mines. Labor is required in a province in order to meet the workload. The prime person factories generate armament and treasury. You'll need to maintain enough raw materials. If you change your mind about what's happening, you can always change them. Okay. So. Let's 
Labour is required to produce a max amount of raw materials. So, I guess we want an out... So, we want... I don't know what we want first, really. I'm going to go outpost initially. Alright, so, car batteries. You want to be the possum. What's it going to be called? Possum batteries into ocean. Will I even fit? Let's try. You're not going to let me copy and paste. I see how it is. Oops. You might have to be caught past some batteries, I think. I don't think you can get into ocean. A cannon fodder for you. You want to, well, you want to be one of the, uh, one of the, the regular boys, the, the orcs. What were you on, Bert? And you, pumpkin. And Deeks. Oh, Deeks did a uh, cannon fodder, sorry. I'll take whatever Destin the fastest. I reckon on the, the, I reckon on the gobos. Should be De Deeks as goblin. Anything cool? Pumpkin, do you want to be Zorak? You can be, you can be Pumpkin. Do you want to be, uh... Oh no, that's, is that right? Pumpkin. I can't spell Pumpkin, do you? You want to be pumpkin? Wait, what? What? We get scanned. Pumpkin, pumpkin. But it still says Zorak. Or maybe because that's the thing. I don't know. Hold on. What have we got? So we've got uh, Chaos Dwarf Warriors, we've got Orcs and Gobbos, we've got the Blunderbuss Boys, the Bull Centaur Raiders. I think that's what we've got. Zula. Oh, there we go. They broke it. Right. Nice. This guy's got Burning Wrath, which I'm pretty sure if you have that, you should see a doctor. Ash Storm. Kindle Flame. Triggers and casting a spell. Weakness to fire damage, that's pretty good. Killing fire. Damage per second, that's pretty fun. Ashut Run! Name the name of the main town, okay? What are we calling it? Ha, shut it, you slag. Probably slag with a couple of us. Ha, shut it, you slag. I was draw from. Getting alright so far. Oh, what about you, Noble? You got burning wrath in your throat. Oh no, there's a horrible pain flu again. Give me the blunderbusses, the burning wombats. Alright, I like it. Oops. I swear one of the games was right click to rename. The burning one birds. Have I missed anybody? Noble. I think I think that's everyone there, isn't it? Alright, let's see what we got. Do I get some expendable bows? How much upkeep have I got? Six hundred. I can actually get some gobos for there. Recruitment minus. No, I don't give a shit about that. That's recruiting. That's money. Raw materials two hundred. Workload plus three. What's my raw workload? Do I know? Do I know what that is? Uh. Workload is a hundred. So I've only got a hundred workload. So if I add more workload, which would be plus three hundred. So how do I? What's the best way to add workload? Mines in outpost settlements. Okay. So where's a mine? Strip mine. Oh, is this increasing my workload? You need to maintain this much. Are you stupid?
Right, okay, so I need more labour to make the... To make, so I guess the, the labour needs to meet the workload, right? Right, let, let's just try it. Let's just try it and see what happens. Let's see how we go. You'll be the central unit, the knob crunchers. I like it. That's a cowboy name. Yeah, we got him. That's the possum, Aaron. We got the possum. The possum's been named. I do like how I shot at you, Slag. It's pretty good. Alright, so where's the central lads? Yeah. It's the knob crunchers. I like the knob crunches. Wait, who the fuck are you? More murdering. I love how he runs. What a champ. Oh really? A pair of victory? That's not idea. This one looks a bit spicier. No siege equipment available. Yeah, we can just ram against the walls like pros though. Will it really be a perfect victory if we just send all these goblins to their deaths? I don't think so. I guess we could try it and see how we fare. Workload how many labors you need to run at full efficiency. Right, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, so it's not a fort, it's not a siege, it's just a, um, a fort. Okay. Do you know why he's got his ability resistant? No? What's happened to him? Future happy employees? Yeah, yeah. Prisoners with jobs. The slaves of Tsar? Well, that's not very good. We're gonna have to sort that out, aren't we? So, are we gonna go in... There's no walls here, so we could actually just go in and just murder. But it might be more prudent to actually split things up a little bit, I guess. So we'll take we'll take one series of these, some lads. I feel that the blunderbuss guys might be better off like by themselves somewhere and just cooking some fools. Like I don't know this this end, this end with I don't know some expendable goblins that can sit in the front. I kind of love that they'll happily shoot through them, actually, which kind of makes me laugh. The fact that they just happily cook them is just wonderful. Wonderful. So these look pretty, pretty alright. I'm gonna take one of these guys and you over here, along with some expendable gobos, obviously. And you guys can go over here. I don't know if splitting up our forces this much will work, but we'll see. Get going that way. Uh, you fine lads can go straight in the middle and deal with them. Actually, Piggy. Possum, whatever the fuck I called you, you can go deal with him quickly before they get there. You guys, Ooh, I don't know actually. We want to get up here. Right. Oh, there's some stuff here actually. Let's kill them. All right. See how we fare. Dwarves aren't supposed to use magic like this, but the Chorf said fuck it and use it freely, which means that they slowly send over the stone. Astrogoth is the oldest Chaos or sorcerer around, his limbs are turning stone. So to make up for it, he made a tiny Gundam. I respect that. Like, he ain't gonna let something like no leg stop him. Fuck that. He's got a big, like, murder walker. Can I actually go straight through, do you think? It says it'll be fine with that, but I'm not entirely convinced. 
this this mad lad's go, going by himself. So. That's the pig done. How are these crazy boys going? Them? No, all right. Cool. You guys alright over here? Keep going, keep going. Come on, get over that. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. There we go. In you go. Perfect. And then we can just cook them at the same time. That was big what large huge doing over here. Oh, he's getting surrounded. Friends! Assist him! Nice. Uh, the possum's in, alright. I think the possum will probably get into more trouble in a second. I don't know, I'm not sure if goblins are doing many shit, but... Alright. How's the expendables? None of them think I'm going to be frozen, you might... You might say they take it for granite. Oh, wombat. Oh, I think that is a deserved bidding. Thank you for the biddies, but deserved bidding. Okay, for some reason these guys can't get up here. Can you... Can you, like, sit here? They can fire surprisingly well up here. That's interesting. Okay, these guys are backing out. Matey here is giving him, uh, giving him a big old murder over here. Okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna get Piggy to come over here. Oh, possum. Lude. Mate, that wasn't a fucking suggestion. Do as you're told. They're just gonna keep running away, aren't they? That's fine. That's fine, we can fix that in a sec. Go back. Where's Possum? He's moving. All right. Fajitu Debok. Fajitu Debok. Can I just shoot up with those guys? Unbox them as Elgi. Yeah, shoot through them. Show my own units what's boss. I like it. Okay, you get stuck in, good lad. It's quite the range on that actually. Yeah. You guys get around there. Oh man, look at these cowards just running away because they got shot at. Chickens. Bull doing alright? Possum? Possum bull? Yeah. I love you get stuck in. We've actually done quite a bit of damage to everyone. Oh, these are hopeless, aren't they? Come on. Oh, they're actually attacked in flank? Where? Oh, I guess from the bow. Those guys. Mm, that could be a problem. Yeah, I've noticed the flying units, you kind of have to spam. Um, you have to, like, spam their movement normally. I was being a bit lazy with the pig, but... You normally just spam their movement and this will get some moving. 
Alright. So then. Let's take Piggy and go deal with that. Because that'll be a problem. Actually. Nice. What is that that's causing such a problem? The Orc boys. Come on, Pumpkin. Give him a murder. Oh, we fair in. Okay, the shotgun, the shotgun guys take literally zero shit. Like, the amount of shits the shotgun boys take is zero. I love it. They don't give two fucks. Someone attacks them? Nah, whatever. Give you guys, give you. Boys, did I say you can stop to murder? Go forward. Thank you. You guys all done? You guys are all done. Right, let's capture this one. You should go and give him a hand. I do like the main guy's a wizard, and he's just like, again, he's just a, a serial ass fucker. Look at this guy. Go on, do the thing. Do the thing. Do the. Ah, oh, he's doing the thing! Well, that was actually kind of disappointing. Never mind. Pulse and battery. Good man. Alright. Are you fair and done here? You're doing alright. What's going on over here? What, what is going on over here? Right. They're chasing down. The knob crunches can do that. You guys go back up here and deal with that. You come up here and deal with that. Alright. Shotgun guys are too busy absolutely dismantling fools, so let's go kill them. These guys have ran off doing their own thing, but that's fine. Actually, you're fairly expendable. Can you go capture this and then kill those guys? Looks like the lines are collapsing completely. What's this? Momentum? Oh, nice. Probably won't be long till they fully collapse here. How's the shotguns goes? Yeah. Yeah, that kind of went about as well as I expected. Good for you. Uh, rip. Alright, let's kill those guys next time. Henry Arswalmer? Which one's Henry Arswalmer? I really feel bad for anyone who has to try and deal with the blunderbuss guys. Come on, boys, you can make it. Just charge headlong into it. They, they can't make it. Who these? And why aren't you murdering someone else? Go up some murder. Go on. How's Possum doing? Very fine. Good murder. Get back there, Possum. And for some reason that Captain Fucker hasn't uh, hasn't finished. All right. These guys have captured this, so you guys can go to the central point. Where was going over here? Oh, the castles are still fine. Flying units might be the best. I guess so. I guess. I wonder. Who, I wonder how castles fare against actual dwarfs. That'd be interesting. This is it. There we go. They've just crumbled. Rip. Oh no, he's crumbled. Murder is us. 3 XP in it. Period victory, my ass. 
Took a bit of damage, but nothing that won't heal off by next turn. How, how you doing over there, Gobbo? Don't push him, attack him. Got a beer all day. Honestly, you know when cats keep pushing around a toy over and over instead of actually like doing the thing with the toy? It's that. But with goblins. All cats pushing things off shelves, true. Oh look, all these guys come in to like, uh, fight him as well. Good for you guys. Break his shins! Very nice. That's what we like to see. Nah, he's fucking dead. Right, there we go. Skaven and the Ogres do well against the Trolls. Oh, interesting, okay. We lost 571, but most of those were goblins, so they don't count. They lost uh, 1,782. Yeah, okay. That's so all. Fixed that, didn't we? My Skaven, my ranged Skaven army is absolutely lethal. The Ikiklaw army just fucks everything. It's it's absurd. Those things are just terrifying. You set those up right. Yeah, that went really well. A close victory? Nah, shut up, mate. I guess we want to alternate. So this one could be a factory. Cool. The Silver Pinnacle. So who else needs murder in? Is there anyone else actually at war with us at the moment? I don't think so. So Kindle Flame is fun. Cascade and Fire Cloak make, can make that burlier, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure what Ash Storm is. Burning Wrath, you can make it burlier, makes it cheaper. I don't know how much cheaper it is. Spawns additional Vortexes, that could be kind of neat. Requires line of sight to the target, but that's fine. That makes that cheaper, upgrades it, so that's kind of nice. Kindle Flame, again, just makes people like immune, like get weak to fire, which is kind of fun. The Flaming Sword? What's that one? Oh, ooh, that's pretty nice. Hellhammer. That's, don't recognize that in Flamestorm. Interesting. I kind of want to just make him like a big, big asshole, like Murder Man. Ash Storms, what's this do then? Speed minus 25, weakness to fire. Oh, I see you can sort of like, a lot of his stuff is kind of like debuffing them in a way. In which case, Kindle Flame is actually going to be a pretty fun one to do. That makes him weaker to fire as well. Yeah, I agree, mate. Uh, hard to hit, I think. Alright, nice. This has been an interesting start. This has been an interesting start. Sorry, I, I, I started a little bit late today, so we've ended up like... Uh, I, I haven't got time for another battle, because um, i got work early in the morning. But I definitely want to continue with this. Like, I think these guys are really cool. Sorry for all the sniffing as well. Like, I am... The flowers have brutally murdered me all day, and I'm feeling quite lousy. <laughs> On the second blunderbuss boys name taken, I don't think so. No, they're not. They are they're free if you want them off. Local man sorted by pollen, I know, literally. Most most saddest way to go. What do you want them to be called, dude? Arth Guncats, alright. 
Oh, shit. Arth gun cat. Fuck them. Shut up. <laughs> Pollen is a bastard. I hope you feel better as well, uh, Noble, soon. Uh, local man does everything wrong, I know. Right, let's save that quickly. So, I've also downloaded, um, so I've downloaded, uh, Rude. Sherlock Holmes to try as well, by the way. So, we can give that a go. And, of course, uh, the Wolf Among Us soon as well. I don't know whether we'll do that at the weekend. Start at the weekend, maybe? Amogus? Are we Amogusing? Oh, because the wolf among... Right, 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 okay. The sussy wolf. Right, right, I'm with you. <laughs> aliens Colonial Marines. The worst thing about Aliens Colonial Marines is we couldn't ever quit it. The wolf among us. The wolf Amogus, yeah. Yeah, the Sherlock Holmes game looks interesting. So in summary, I think Hunt the Knight, like, earlier was fucking fantastic as well. Uh, we've got Sherlock Holmes to try. Uh, we've got the Wolf of Mogus. Um, because we're finished with Dredge. Resi 4 is, like, pretty much finished. Um, and got some Warhammer to do. So, yeah, we've got a few things on the go, which is nice. Just got some plans. We like some plans. There's the other game that's, like, 2008 TOC. Rufus shooting it once. You mean the one I played? Do you mean the Sinking City? That one. So I did that one. So that's the one you meant. No, it's different. Oh, okay. If you find another title for it, that'd be interesting. Well, thank you very much, peeps, for watching. I hope you had a lovely stream tonight. And I will see y'all uh, very well, very soon. Do take care. Love a lot of you. Mwah. Jian, jian, jian.